two just making sure that by that time, look for opportunities with the slow going through main. This might be it, but already the crossfire, the swing comes through. Two picks forward, but G2 straight from heaven. Mixwell, 71 health, has the Sheriff in hand, the swing coming from Generator, now it's the 2v2, Hoodie is low, Dart available for Sassy, oh. does he want to do it, Walled off, off to the side, Pankata, now it's the 1v1 and he has to be careful, he knows Mixwell's not off it, the dash, pushing him, Mixwell trying to take it, but unable to win it out. Also just teleport back, loud again with the rapid engagement straight away, the paranoia to try and disrupt it, but already the dash through into the cloud burst and the swing comes there, Sassy with two. I love the way that they're using their utility. Sadak's Fragment Grenade isolates out anybody that could be pushing a tree. They dash in, and the swing, it's doubled up with Aspas Sassy coming out through the rifles that they got. Hoodie with an angle into mid, not going to see anybody because this fight's happening in A main. Yep. And, and Louder just dominating it. They've been, they've been able to go anywhere on the map they want. In theory, Avova is holding this area with a one-way, but it's just getting disrespected. G2 have no control on this area of the map. Loud just barrel in and barrel Loud them over. Hunter's Fury up top, that was the tag. Maybe not anticipating it, looking for that pickoff. That's Sassy unleashing the ultimate. I believe did a bit of damage there, but now it's up to Meadow to try and anchor and lock it down for the back of the dice. He does get the one, but Aspas immediately down, trades. Okay. With all this space that they've gained up onto the site, Hoodie swings out, but he is so, so low. The Stinger, I should say. No charges left. That's almost impossible to get anything done, but 15 seconds have been bought. Heal comes back online, Hoodie's gonna be healthy. But what can they really do here? Nookie has to be a bit Double of a up. sacrificial lamb. No, he sticks. He's just sticking it. Shot dart off to the side. That's enough. Claims the target, but still Hoodie could do some damage right now. Not quite. Gets a crossfire into him. But here comes the pivot. I mean, Sadak is thinking about going towards... No, no, there is hey. no way that Let's just got them both there in mid. What? Okay. Gets away with it. 30 health, and now Meadow, he's going to be feeling it. Has to try and swing into this one. Does get the one into the drone. Unable to break it. Has to back away, left. and it's given Sadak a lot of space to work with. He's lurked through that market area. The timing is good, and it's all on Meadow. 3v3, his teammates 20 seconds. a long way away. Time running low in this round. Two are fast in terms of this retake onto B main. Sassy needs to hold it. He does get the one. The dart though combos up. And kind of falls. Nine seconds remaining. I've got to get a move on here. Spike has to start to go down just in time. And I know where Nuki's positioning was. He fired the dart from earlier. Surround hoodie. Great slow to try and disrupt it. Paranoia across the site. The Hunter's Fury as well. That's a connection. Sidestep the dodge. Ultimate's being popped. And there is some backup here of over. Gonna be joining his teammate now, and players are on the site. Can they try and deal with this one? They're all up on lane. The utility is there to try and find it, but it's a bow with the rifle. Quick shots. Two are really all he needs, and a head's taken off of them. Last play into B. Straight through main. Aspas already gaining all his control. It's a dart trying to combo it, but look at the flash. A bit mistimed, still hiding behind the boxes. Meadow just wants to try and lock it down, but he will eventually fall. 3-3 for them, though. Mixwell updraft, hit with the knives in hand. He just can't quite get it. The connection onto the target, not there. Still winnable for G2, though. In Ooh. fact, the shock darts coming out from Nuki. They catch on to Les. Just playing that default position, almost on top of the spike. Paranoia in hand for Avova. And the players, yeah, you can see it. Just holding. That's going to be the cue to go now. It Paranoia missed. catches onto Mixwell. Last bit of hesitation there. One shot going through. Aspas has to play this well. Can't quite flick up in time and GT away, they lose this. I mean, if Les is able to just pop this one off, how there is that goes. countered? G2 have to go fast from it. Paranoia off to the side, Mixwell tries to peek off of it, but the cloud burst in play and already taken out. That's just jet head to head. There's just no way, right? They've, there's no way they have enough time to try and do this one. Aspas, Dash, Hoodie, 66 health. Does have to rifle, but not enough, and it's been four kills. Is Aspas really going to close out this round with an ace? Wouldn't be surprised. Hunting down of over, and that is more than clean. The precision, and you see it all being used. The paranoia that just cuts across from them still. Mixwell is able to supplement it. The hold coming through, but now he needs to get a bit more value. He's the one with the rifle. Avo can't exactly swing into this one. And while all this is going on, Sassy perfectly baits and pulls him in. He wins it out. The kill's just all going his way. And Meadow, the last one standing, a 1v3. The door's getting closed on him. He tries to spam it through to just to see if he can collect at least one kill to make it more palpable in the round, but it's just not gonna happen, man, and loud. So they break all of the different pieces of the wall, and now they're gonna be able to get through wall and door at the same time. Set up double peaks to Paranoia. make sure there's no one there. 
Cuts hit across. The, retake. the paranoia hits so many players. Mixwell, he's got to lock this one forward. Still hoodie at the back. Beaming him. Now the 3v2 drops down. Tagged up. The players are just trying to hunt out where they might actually be. Hoodie. See if he can get those shots off, but it doesn't look likely. Now a Bova only just reveals himself. Still, the defuse being stuck. The faith in his teammate comes off of it. Still has to reload. 35 health. Oh, he's not oh, making it. Oh, what is that? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, my goodness. Once more, Jet gives Mixwell in, in an absurd play. I, I really like that idea from G2, but it didn't work. That's what's up top, crossfire, enemy. just laying down the ammunition. One enemy remaining. Shutting out any attempt of G2, left. just trying to push their way through tree. Cover going out. Crossfire is just far too good for it. Yeah, I mean, my ultimate is ready. Any damage here is really good damage for Evolver. If he manages to pick off Aspas as well. Now 10 bullets, Aspas was low. Just funneling them into A. Oh, I mean, a smoke gets missed there from Mixwell. It's the old coming through, Aspas into the corner. That's the war by him. I've seen him just crossing a lamb bot. Down A. Not quite connecting one to the one. Door comes down. Less is in trouble. Spam comes through still. I say he's in trouble. He's got the coverage there. Pankada is watching him in the crossfire. The dad gets a ping onto Mixwell. Has to play with his back to generator of over. Wants to try and support him with the reposition here, but did they know that Sassy is in this corner? Certainly doesn't. Just waiting like for it. the spike to be planted. Spike planted. Can get it down. An opportunity there to isolate of over alone, but still Mix holding. He doesn't know that Sassy has pushed around here. Not a clue. Mixwell's gonna take two over by door. If he's able to get one anything done, remains. there's the one, and he drops immediately. I mean, G2 were just—they had no chance. Looks like they want to go for this straight up B hit. Sassy still has that dart though, and that has well, tagged up a multitude of players. Mixwell just eating a shock dart, has to just back off to the side, but Les is watching it once more. Swings round, the players are there for loud. Shutting it down from B stairs. Backs off. Sadak with a re-clear, that's just a flash. Little play into mid. Hunter's Fury's popped off as well for the spawn. Mixwell trying to catch the timing, and he does do just that. Now it's unlocked the Blade Storm. It's a 3v3. Critical for G2 for them to win this one out, but already less. With the anchoring, the shots, the precision. Down B. This guy is unbelievable. And Meadow has been forced into such a hard situation. 1v3. Playing around the box. Less on 35 health, but he's got support from the rest of Loud. Swarming him from every perceivable angle. Meadow wins it, but the trade is instantaneous. Defenders win. And what a dominant map. G2 were afforded absolutely no opportunities in map one. Ascent, it's Loud's map pick. Loud are undefeated here for a reason. What an unbelievable opening to this game. Uh, they utterly dismantled G2 there. Mid all the space has been taken by Aspas and Sadak. Coverage in play, Hoodie he goes down immediately. Mixed well, it's up to him. Does find the one Aspas also taking. Boatload of damage in the process. Now a split attempt for the Meadow. What are those shots? My classic doesn't work like that. And Pagada, he's made his way up. Wins the 1v1 against Mixwell. Hunter tries to find the shots. G2. Their Q. Knife straight down the middle of the pyramids. And they played Nuki out of position. Sent packing. See you later. You're going to have to do some calling from the sidelines for this one with Hoodie falling on top of it. The better rifles, the better weaponry is carrying loud forwards here. Unless it's managed to work his way all the way down the holes. Ooh, that snake bite didn't exactly go where he was intended, but Pankada is fine there. It is, of course, intriguing how Les and Pankada have swapped their roles. Let's use that nade to try and clear it and disrupt it, and now you're going to see that combined aggression. Mixwell has to get value, does find the one, but eventually traded. Vova still off to the side, two kills for him, make it three. That is absurd, and that's exactly what G2 need. Good luck getting through here. The hit isn't quite being committed, but still, Sadak has the spike, and he's just contacting, walking up behind this. Is he going to try and go for any sort of pop flash play? He's just waiting for it to go down, swing around the back. Two kills for him. And Evolver must have been befuddled in that situation. He's like, why isn't the Viper Wall going down? But Les was in mid and could still provide that safe passage for Loud into the site. Sadak is so brave as well to just... <laughs> Keep swinging into this one. This one has the tour de force Do they for much have longer. Us? Yeah. Taken out of his hands there with the knife coming through. Do they have the awareness to know that Les must have been flanking? Because he wasn't caught by the null command early. Hot flash. Straight through the wall. Just dodges around the side. And that is magnificent.
Put the wall down on A. And a fast play straight up through it. Lovely play inside at a smoke, but Aspas immediately recovers it. And he knows the player's dead. A spray control. Got a deal though now with the G2 players. Hoodie and Meadow do have the rifles. That's another headshot. I mean, Hoodie has just, just dropped ahead. so weak. And Sassy's gonna find the information that nobody's really pushing off that drone. Still winnable for G2. So they can just find an advantage in this one, but the positioning is known for loud, and they have got such this tight hold here, right in the back here, yeah, just swinging through the player close to yellow as well. Sassy was so ready for that. The dart at the back, that doesn't actually connect onto Meadow, still being blocked enough. Okay, pop flash straight through the wall. Sassy has the Hunter's Fury. The players Block dropping like flies for G2. Nuki though on this flank. Spike planted. He used his Cloudburst to be They're able not to pass the trademark. They don't know he's here, they, they know do he's now. There. Now they know, but all the knives expended. Sassy holds it. Holding anything, Nuki peeks, gets Reason? information. This was there, it's all the force, but he whips. Off to the side, a little bit too much Cloudburst down. Nuki, oh, pre-aiming the wrong angle. And that advantage, it's just... It just fades away. Evaporates. Slip through their fingers like so many grains of sand. Having said that, Hoodie's got the read on where this repositioning is going. He could shut all of this down right now on top. Oh! It's a fantastic off angle, but he just isn't willing to hold his ground, moving a little bit. And the loud players are so tightly Fight spaced, planted. grouped together. Pankata's watching me. Call the force. Meadow. Aspas is alone, though, at the back of B, and the spike is still only in play. The Hunter's Fury, that's a connection. Onto Hoodie, sidestepped it, dodged it. Enough for the player to push up. Pancadado cannot finish up and clean up off the damage that's been done. Nice play, Mixwell, though, goes for another peek. The swings, though, they're lovely, and it puts everything down onto Aspas. Final round of the half. Null command in his face. Yeah. Spike dropped at B main. From quite a distance of over, just peeking it ever so slightly. Aspas is waiting for the drop. Trying to bait it with a couple of bits of spam with the spike drop down. You know what the situation is. I can play, just wants to try and isolate it. But G2, they do get one. Another three tiles with Sadak with Aspas. The repositioning on top of the wall. Aspas actually wants to try and take the fight once more. The Dardo needs to be broken. A reload in play means they get good information. G2, they're set up here. They know where the players are. Flash is being sent back into the site. The double clearance. They try and make it happen, but Leslie just beams them down. Ghost in hand, three kills for him, the anchoring. <laughs> it's just immense and, yeah. Zero point catches him. Nuki's in a position where he might catch a pick on the Pancada. No, the timing just works perfectly. And a bit of a rotation, still 40 seconds online. It looks like G2 are looking to commit into this one, but the counter spam. The Vandal Tracers, they show exactly where the positioning is. And Nuki in tunnel. Pancada takes the swing, the duel is there for him, a win. What we've seen in the past from Mech, from DRX. Sadak's tagged up though, all the way back through. Yep, the yellow control is there, G2. Moving around, how is Sadak not dying here? Eventually they get it, but Aspas also returns. Four bangs coming. And now Nuki, looks like he's online in this round. They've needed it for quite some time for him, but heavy weight on his shoulder when he's way. also doing the calling for them. Nuki pops the blade storm there and throws the Vandal over to Meadow. Meadow gets obliterated. Head pop, Nuki though responds. Yep, now Wins the jet two. Spam Last now, 1v1 situation for him. Nuki the updraft, he spots a Pankata. I can't believe he's still swinging into this one, but Nuki gets it. Headhunter though, that is just off of timing. Raw instinct being shown by Pankata as he takes over his head clean off. Still the Hunter's Fury. Went down onto the floor, just the one tag for them. Nuki now taking that space all the way up top. Pankata though, no one is dealing with him and still moves around the jiggle peak from Les. Just a bit oversteps himself. Pankata is still alive there, he gets taken down. Hoodie eventually finds that player that was anchoring Pillar and that makes things a lot more safe for G2. Still no spike down though. But Mixwell finds the pick that should shut this. Mixwell's just trying to watch for the door to dash on top of the box. Mix. It's well, yeah, he's able to just cover that angle and Nuki at the front of it. Beautiful stuff from them. A really nicely played. Holding angles for each other, being set up, putting a lot of pressure onto Sassy. Oh, Sassy though. Okay. Really Ooh, nice ult. Around the Hunter's Fury, yeah, it's going to be tagging onto another player on top of it. Finds a pick off still. The spike is down and the postman can be played. Less though, he spotted one of the players, Nuki, in a bit of trouble and he calls for it. Help from the backup with the rest of his team.
Avova wants to just double up with him. And now the hard rotate around to Cave. Avova is booking it. And Meadows popped his ultimate as well. G2 really want to win this round. It would force Loud onto poor economy. Last player standing. Bancada with the flank, but he's the last one alive. At the back of Pyramid, that knowledge is now available for G2. Flash launching it into the corner, seeing if he can create any sort of space. Mixwell holding down that back Oh, how is Sassy able to get two there with the Bulldog? Mine doesn't do that, and Aspas supports him straight up in the air. The updrafts as well. Pancano with a headhunter. It's a disaster for G2. And Aspas finishes them off. What on earth? Behind them, they are none the wiser, Josh, and this is a backbreaker. Hoodie spots it, though, just in time of over. Flash around the corner, and it does connect. He needs to get a kill, though. He was looking in a different direction, just making sure that there was no second swing. And now it's a 3v3. G2 need this to stay into the series. The shock dart's connecting. Hoodie, he cannot move his position. He is so low. Has to hold it. The snake bites everything being chucked towards him. And the pressure is on Mixwell. He has to hold down this line of side angle. Otherwise, it's over. <gasps> so he wanders into it. It's a whip coming through, but time is running low. Sassy, now the 1v1. Avova realizes this one. Time so, so low, and I don't think he's got it. He doesn't have it. Even if he's stuck there, even if Avova's keyboard disconnected, they've done enough. A slight angle. We just can't quite get that last one, but they combo it. One ult into another. Nice pick off there into Pankada. Sassi trying to at least regain a bit of control onto this one, but Mixwell, he's holding it down. Yeah, coming up huge for them, but now shut down by Aspas. As you see, these two players both coming from double doors for Loud. Nookie's pretty far away, but they have players set up to play off each other. Decent crossfires, and Nookie's now going to be on a bit of a backstab. Let's read it. No way. Has to be watching this one. Meadow pushes through. Let's get the second one. Still, the time isn't really there. It's starting to tick really low. The cloud burst as well. Hoodie tries to go for the spam. The coverage. He gets the one. He gets the second. And he keeps him in this series. It's going to be getting the information. Sadak also, as you said, Josh still holding on to that ultimate, the null command. Just in case this hit comes through. Aspas has found one. That's Nuki. Gone. Your star player. Dodges the dart. And now Sadak, he just pops his own ult. It's a bit of a. React one at that, Aspas still being set up off to the side, this Guardian, he's only got 42 health, but he's making it work regardless, still the play comes through, dash, oh, around the corner, Sassy covers for it though. Spike down, B. And he's Next one, he has to get something done here. It's a deep push, push all the way into this elbow. Player might just wander into his sight line. Meadows also taking a gamble. He's pushed all the way up, but the respect is being shown. Just a little jiggle peek. Sussy finds it. And makes sure he can hear the player, the rotation straight through main. It's planted for him if he's able to catch the timing, but the coverage. Less far too intelligent for it, just knowing he was there. And what a performance. Yeah, a little bit of a comeback there towards the end from G2. But Loud, the first Brazilian team to win two matches, and it doesn't seem like they're gonna stop there. This team's got momentum. The super team, living up to the hype.